New England, the band New England, because they you are celebrating your 40th anniversary. Yes. And you're going to be at the Spires at the end of October, October 25th. October I think that's 25th. An eight o'clock show. Eight o'clock show. Yep. Okay. And you said that the premium. The Meet and greet seats are sold out. They're all sold out, but wow. you know, maybe we might have to try to work on that. But but they are sold out at the moment. At the moment, okay. And but there are still seats left. Yes, there's there's not many seats left, but there are seats left. Um, but uh, so you should go out and get your tickets ASAP. Definitely, definitely, they put on an incredible show, and they make you feel like you're really part of it. And there's no question about it. Plus, the Spire Center, there's no bad seats. They're uh, just no, done. Absolutely. No matter what seat you yep. get. Okay, October 26th, barely time to catch your breath, right? You'll be out in Shirley, Mass. Yes, at, the, um, at Bull Run. Bull Run. That's another 8 p.m. Yes. Still some tickets left out there. Uh, there are tickets left. And uh, Bull Run is a, is a little bit different kind of venue. It's still like, you know, people from all over the world play there. But it's it's kind of like a dinner club. Oh, wow. That's so, fun. So, you know, you can have dinner before the show. and Sure. So that's sure. kind of fun. Sounds good. Then you're going to be going out to California. Grand Oaks Live, Upland, California. Yeah. Tell us about that one. That, that's kind of one of our favorite venues to really? play. Hirsch, I'm, I know when you sing, you have to back up, but move right up to the mic a little bit more. Yeah, how's okay. The, how's that, Sandy? Yeah, that's, that's very <laughs> nice, Hirsch. Cool. Yeah, Go so uh, uh, Nancy and, uh, and Lenny are, are two of our uh, long, long time fans and friends, and they um, promote this show. Which is absolutely amazing, and it's wow. it's it's small, about two hundred people, mm -hmm. but uh, they've had people like John Waite play there and other oh, uh, sure. you know solo artists, and uh, yeah, we just uh, go over there and just uh, tear it up. So Los Angeles, if you're listening, you know, come and see us at uh, Grand Oaks Live. That's gonna be a cool show. I love the venues that are a little smaller. Those are yeah, my they favorites. Are. Very intimate. It's, uh, you it's know, I remember wonderful. back in the day when we were on the road, we'd play a 20,000-seater one night, and then the next night we'd play, you know, a 200-seat club. Yeah. And it was just it was just so great to get right up close to the, sure. to the, to the you audience. You feel their the energy and their support. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And it's funny, I, I know that we all felt this way, but whenever we played a 20,000 seat, the adrenaline was huge to see that massive crowd. It was the same thing for us when we played a small yes. crowd, a small yes. club. Sure. You know, you sure. knew that we, we just had to really, what was that tour called? The Take No Prisoners tour? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we just, no matter where we played, oh, yeah. it was, you know, that was it. We, we kicked butt, so it was good. Well, speaking <laughs> of that, that was a beautiful transition to taking just a little back, look back 40 years ago. Mm. You were originally produced by Mike's. Stone and Paul Stan Stanley, um, and they worked with Kiss. Right? Uh, well, yes. Yeah. Well, Mike Stone was actually he, he was famous for working with Queen. Really, so he um, <gasps> did all those early Queen records and uh, engineered and, and mixed them. Um, and of course, Paul Stanley and Kiss. But so sure. it was. It was a great combination for us for our first record. And did you? I I know that you toured with Kiss. We did. We did a forty-five city tour. Wow. The, the Dynasty tour. Oh, that must have been. Unbelievable. Yeah, that was fun. And that's when you, um, um, let's see, what am I leaving out? No, let's first brag a little more. Name some of the other groups that you yes. opened for, because it's just a who's who, you yep. know? ACDC, uh, Journey, Wow. Kansas, Cheap Trick, Sticks, Sticks, Birds, um, Rush. Oh, that was an amazing night. Really? Can you imagine being the drummer and playing on the same stage and <laughs> Neil Peart? Uh, the drummer for Rush was playing on the same stage as you. Yeah, boy, was I nervous. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And you did a, a drum roll, please. Madison Square Garden. Madison Square Garden. Was that when you were touring with kids? Yes, we yeah. did two nights there. And actually, uh, we were warned that it, no matter how good you were playing at Madison Square Garden, just be, be aware of what's coming at you from the audience because people would throw stuff at whoever yeah. opened sure. up. Sure, they just want to get to the main act. Yeah, but, but what happened with you but guys? But fortunately, we just grabbed them right away. We just blew them away. So we had them in the palm of our hands for, I for two nights. Yeah. I it, bet. it was great. I remember the next day I was walking down uh, Madison Avenue, which is where our manager's uh, office was. And these kids were at a stoplight, and we were just all stopped waiting to cross the street. And they recognized me as the drummer in New England. And it was, it was to me, that was like, wow, what this is thrill. really cool. Oh. And they would just say, oh, you guys were amazing. And, you know, Kiss, we love Kiss, but we, we never thought we'd see a band like you guys open for Kiss. That, that felt good. I <laughs> bet that, that did. Affirmation. We, we did a good job. What but, an experience. Go ahead, you know, John. And to that point, with the first album, um, I don't know if we, we mentioned that, but um, just recently, Classic Rock Magazine in England, um, you know, mm -hmm. which is 
one of the world-renowned yes, rock magazines. Yes. Um, they voted us number 14 of the uh, top wow. 50 a AOR albums of all time. Number 14. So that's pretty cool. Right here on Twilight Showcase Radio. Yeah. We are honored. All right.